This video delves into the current economy and inflation in the United States. Don't worry, we're going to keep it short, simple, entertaining, and most importantly, interesting. Let's get started. First off, it's important to note that inflation is a deliberate, normal, and generally well-controlled process. The average inflation rate over the last 100 years is around 3% and 2.2% for the past 20 years. In 2022, the presentation of certain charts made the situation seem quite worrisome, showing a concerning 8% surge for 2022. Let's look at a more detailed chart. Energy comes out on top, followed by food. But what caused this inflation? Several factors contribute to inflation, and its balance is very fragile. To summarize the sudden spike to 8% in 2022, the reasons are manifold. Largely, it was due to the post-COVID-19 context. Many people, having spent less during the pandemic and saved up, rushed to consume in 2022, increasing demand against a limited supply and pushing prices up. This was compounded by excessive money creation by the government. So, how did we try to curb the rise? Interest rates were raised during this period to discourage excessive consumption and reduce the over-demand for goods and services. And it worked quickly. Look at this chart from July 2023, the rate has already fallen back to a more normal level. However, understand that while the growth of prices is slowing, this doesn't mean they will decrease. Prices have risen and we mostly have to get used to them. So, how significant was this increase? Inflation exceeded 8% in 2022. Your grocery cart saw a 10% increase the same year. Energy was the most affected sector, with natural gas prices increasing by more than 50%. And of course, gasoline also went up, costing on average 30% more. Comparing this to the lowest price in 2020, which was $2.17 per gallon, and the highest in 2022 at $4 per gallon, it's true that at one point, the price of gas nearly doubled. To counter this trend, the Federal Reserve increased its federal funds rate. What's the impact on your mortgage? The majority of people have fixed rate mortgages over long periods. Many have not yet gone through their renewal, and a nasty surprise could be looming. The average mortgage rate in 2018 was 4.5%, which was relatively low. For context, the 60-year average was about 6%. In 2023, this rate climbed to 8.2%, so going from 4.5% to 8.2% really hurts. On a $300,000 mortgage, the increase could reach up to $10,000 annually in the worst case. To mitigate the shock, banks might offer to extend the duration of the loans. Have wages kept up with inflation? To put things in perspective, let's compare the years 2018 to 2022. During this period, inflation made a leap of 19.10%. At the same time, the average wage also increased by 19.5%. This means that over a span of five years, wages have more or less kept pace with inflation. However, the main concern is that inflation struck abruptly in 2022. In the United States, one out of every two people doesn't have a financial cushion. They lie from paycheck to paycheck. Therefore, Without savings in 2021, and facing a 30% increase in the cost of gasoline and a 10% increase in groceries a year later, the situation became precarious. This reality is not surprising when considering that half of Americans earn less than $20 an hour, making it particularly challenging to make ends meet. In conclusion, there is a glimmer of hope. Inflation has returned to a more normal level. Nonetheless, the threat of a possible recession still looms, though it is hoped that any repercussions will not be too severe. The economy, being cyclical by nature, will experience periods of downturn and growth and will continue to surprise us. But thanks to technological advancements and our accumulated knowledge, we are better equipped to anticipate and manage these economic fluctuations. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Watch my introduction video by clicking on the video on the left. Otherwise, I suggest you watch the next video by clicking on the one on the right. Thanks for watching.